There you are. Welcome back. This is the Anycubic M3 Max. It's a brand new resin printer from Anycubic. And unlike their other machines that they just announced, it's not named after a nope rope, it's named after a screw. Cobra, la, 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 I do have some prints on the print bed here and we're gonna talk about those in a little bit, but first I wanna give you a window into what it was like getting this out of the box because it was fairly unique. Unfortunately, when this was shipped to me, the shipping company put a giant hole in the side. I was really worried about whether or not the printer was going to be intact inside. So using my sharp knife, I carefully dissected one of the sides and found that the printer was completely safe, which meant I could continue with the unboxing. The machine was set far enough inside so the hole didn't matter. And during the unboxing, I found something really unique with this machine in that any cubic put together a metal frame inside the box to provide rigidity. So rather than just having foam supporting inside the box, there was a big giant metal frame on the inside that I had to take screws out of in order to get it apart. The machine has a 13.7 inch 7K monochrome screen. It's 6480 by 3600 on the pixel side. They say it has a parallel matrix for even distribution of LED lights, which there are 84 of. That's a 4.3 inch touchscreen right on the front. The build volume is 11.7 inches by 6.5 inches by 13 inches. And yes, they gave it in inches. America! The machine has this really cool resin level sensor with auto fill. This is a really interesting feature and I think it's a game changer when we talk about resin machines that are of this size. In the back of the machine on the left, right here, there is a resin sensor and an auto fill mechanism. And it's crazy how it works because you slide the tank in, the resin sensor dips two metal prongs down and once the level falls, below those metal prongs, a pump is initiated to not draw the material from the bottle in the back, but to actually, I believe it's to pump air in to force the material out. And what this machine does that I really like, that another machine, I believe it was the JG Maker G5, didn't do well. It doesn't seem to sense the resin level, at least in the times that I tried it and was experimenting with it. Here's the thing, look at it. You can see it as clear as day. It's exposed to the elements. It had an auto resin level uh, sensor and filler. And what it did was pump resin through transparent tubing and the little pump was transparent as well. So if any UV somehow got into the machine, it would ruin that mechanism. And I believe I dinged him for that on that. Where any cubic has improved on that is the tube that carries the resin from the bottle is opaque. So no UV light is gonna get through it. And the mechanism that it hooks up to is also opaque. So it's perfect. It's exactly what you need for a resin printer this size to do large prints when you don't know if you have enough resin in the tank. Last but not least, is the build plate and similar to other Anycubic resin 3D printers, it has a laser etched surface. For sure, there is great adhesion on this build plate. Once it was out of the box, I decided to do the little test print. It's the Anycubic little geometric sort of, of thing and it printed great. I got it off the build plate by using brute force and I didn't, <laughs> I broke it. I broke it at the bottom. But that's okay, because the rest of the model, it looks fine. This is a great first print, and once it was washed and cured, we were ready to go, and I wanted to get some awesome prints done on the machine. And those awesome prints are right there. They are done on the machine, and I haven't actually, I mean, I've looked at them a little bit, but being that this is a first look at something, I wanted to bring you along with me. I wanted to bring you along for the experience at looking at these prints once they're washed and cured for the very first time. It's really exciting to me. And what I've got, I've got the Water Tiger and I've got from Photos Mint, I've got, uh, oh, Moon Knight, that's right. Oh, and from Broken Anvil Miniatures, I've got uh, Joel the Geomancer. He's like, it's like that, right? It's like that. So that's exciting. So here's what I wanna do. I filmed a resin lapse of these things printing. Uncle Jesse, Andrew Sink, 
Great product, I love it. And while that resin lapse is going, I will be behind the scenes, getting it off the build plate, washing and curing with uh, this thing. And then together, we will take a look at these 3D prints for the very first time. Right out of the gate, just before washing this, I'm looking at the detail that is in all of the prints. And you can tell that that 7K screen that they talk about is really doing a good job because these look fantastic up close. We still need to get the excess resin off of them. In the Anycubic Wash and Cure Plus, um, the M3 Max build plate is too big for it. So I'm gonna have to get these off the build plate before washing. Here we go, prints are done. And this is my first look at the cured prints as it is yours. And so, like I said, I'm really excited to sort of bring you along with this. I wanna start out with the Water Tiger. This is fantastic. This model looks amazing. This is the apricot resin from Anycubic. And this is at a 100% scale. It's by uh, Yucca Sepanen. Hope I'm saying the name right. Gorgeous model and all of the details have really come through. All of those little pieces that come off of it, the very, the very organic nature of this structure, I think this resin printer has fully captured in amazing detail. This is the Moon Knight from Photos Mint, and it, it's a, I love this model. The Disney Plus show is really great. I love the details that you can see up front, but if you look in the back, the cape has all of this, this material sort of detail to it. And I think part of the reason why is because of that 7K screen that it has inside of it. And finally, we're talking about the Broken Anvil Miniatures, Joel the Geomancer. And uh, the little high five, I think looks, looks great. Uh, unfortunately, Joel lost a foot. But beyond that, him and all of the tiny little pieces that printed along with it, the machine did a really good job with it. And so, in the end, my first impressions of this machine are extremely positive. I think that you're given a massive build volume with a very capable screen that can reproduce amazing detail. And if these models are any indication of what this is going to be able to do, I really, really look forward to what you and others who may own this machine someday are able to do with it. If you want any information on this, the M3 Max, or any of the other machines that Anycubic has released, there'll be a link in the description where you can go to get current pricing. At time of filming, pricing wasn't available, but clicking the link will give you up-to-date information on price and availability. And if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all of the detailed things. And as always, high five.